Hi, this is Brad Smith from Beersmith.com. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the brew day timer that's built into uh, Beersmith. And you can access the same brew day timer really from Beersmith Web, which I'm going to demonstrate here. You can do the same thing from the desktop. You can even do it from your mobile device by logging into the web recipe editor or our standalone mobile app also has this feature. Uh, and today I'm going to start with the Beersmith Web version. So I'm logged into BeersmithRecipes.com uh, using a test account. And I have the recipe editor or trial active. So I'm going to click on the recipe editor button here to get into the recipes. I'm going to go to the Great Lakes Porter. This is the one I'm going to start with. This particular recipe is already set up. Um, I do have videos on each of these tabs if you go to the uh, video section. Uh, but right now I'm going to jump ahead to the timer tab here by clicking on the timer button here at the top. Uh, this recipe has already been set up and built. And here you can see I've got the brew day timer. Um, I can start it by clicking any of the run, pause, and reset buttons here. Um, I've got two different timers actually. I've got a mash steep timer. So the mash timer obviously works for timing the mash for an all grain brewer. Uh, if you were an extract, working with an extract recipe, it would show the steep ingredients here and the steep timer. And it would track how long to steep different ingredients. Um, and then if I click on this tab, I can, I can look at the boil timer. And the boil timer uh, simply is going to time and tell me when to add ingredients for the boil. So right now we're going to start with a mash steep timer. Um, and you can see it's got all the steps here for the mash. Uh, first, it's got a water prep step that tells me how much water to use and which salts to add to my base water. Uh, in this case, I'm working with a brew in a bag type system, so I really only have one set of water additions. All the water gets added up front to this particular system. Uh, it's got the mash ingredients I'm going to mash in with so I don't forget anything. And then, of course, the timer itself, uh, I've basically got a two-step mash here. I've got a sacrification step where I convert the sugars, so basically a single infusion mash, and then a mash-out step uh, after an hour and a half or so. Uh, so if I click on Run, it's going to start the timer, and it'll show me the total time here as well as when the next step uh, occurs. If I was to run this for an hour, hour and a half, it would, it would actually show, uh, it would play an alarm uh, when it gets to the next step. And it would tell me, uh, highlight the next step as it goes. So I could use this to, uh, to time my brew day, uh, either with a phone or a laptop out by the brew system, and track uh, my entire mash. So if I pause that and go over to the boil timer, I can do the, exactly the same thing for the boil. In this case, I've got a 60-minute uh, uh, boil edition of Centennial Hops right up front. That is the main uh, boil edition. Um, at 45 minutes, I've got a reminder to add a whirl flock tablet, which is going to stay in for the last 15 minutes of the boil. And then after an hour, it's the end of the boil. Now, in this particular recipe, I also have some steeper aroma hops, which I added an hour, and I whirlpool for 20 minutes. Uh, and it's got the temperature here as well. So um, so the Brute timer shows uh, both the mash steep timer and the boil timer, gives me step-by-step -step instructions. And also, it'll play a nice alarm every time, uh, every time a, a step occurs. Um, so that's a simple overview of how to use the Brew Day Timer in Beersmith. As I mentioned, you can access this as well uh, by going to beersmithrecipes.com, using your mobile device, using your desktop device. You can also access it from our desktop app or our mobile standalone app as well. Uh, very simple to use. So thank you for listening. Uh, if you want to try your free trial, just go to beersmithrecipes.com and sign up.